this wire here? I never thought to look at it again. I need to start looking at things a little like sensibly. Because I like I saw the blinking light here. But I didn't think that this was a plug. You actually have to do this. And do that. on the wall. 
this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the dime bag before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Letters... Uh, Prep arc with signal transmitter... Power packs... Extra oxygen... Whatever this is... Oh god... Uh, power suit, proper usage... Put on the Neo... Crane undersuit and body harness... 50 HPS for any visual damages. Starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece in the torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. The suit doesn't seal itself. Flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still won't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. The HPSs are very heavy, and the suit will compensate. You will be effective. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay up too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with no oxygen equipment. That all sounds like obvious things to do. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Shuttle to Omicron. <coughs> oh, I see. That's the number of things. Shuttle to Omicron. Theta. Change to HPS. Ride the climber into the abyss. There. Uh, check on Tau. Anyone alive? Access to Omicron. Phi. Launch bar. Wow, that's so cool! It's the whole gang! A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. It's like the, the little dot there in the center. It's very tiny, but whatever. Oh, What's this cool. thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? There's an on switch inside the machine. Also, that door shut through. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You 
You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that going to work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen Reed? Really? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. We're not. At least we know how to get on the Ark. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. So, we're not a machine. We actually are a person, but like in a dead body, I guess? So we're like half dead? It's weird to think about. Okay, so now... Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Okay, so I think we have to go here. This is Catherine's doing. I have decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get the chance. And so on. She's just apologizing. survey, really? Recently it was decided that the art project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has begun. The staff has urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic conditions. I think the art project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Um, Yes, but we will be in sort of a digital world. I mean, really, for all we know, we could be in a digital world right now, so... Eh, I'll just go with agree. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with some electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting for three days. Um, I think temporary physical... Comfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save in kind. Sure. <coughs> the Ark is built to fit a Ranger MK V2 Pro, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for th thousands of years living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Right now we're going into the abyss, like underwater, and oh. Oh I'm so sorry. Um, and then launching it to space, I guess would make much of a difference, but there's more risk that it could be destroyed. So I'm gonna kind of say disagree, but then again, if there is such thing as aliens, like other life forms out in space, and they had the technology to bring us back. I'll just say agree. It's, it's just like 
the typical thing with surveys, you just keep clicking the same one over and over again. Like, it's not strongly disagreeing or strongly agreeing. You're just like, sure, sure, sure. God, these are getting longer. <coughs> the destabilization of humanity is an important, uh, or an opportunity to make a, a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our, mor our mortality. Well, I think mortality, yes, but disease... percentage but sort of in between um, and then same thing for eternity among the stars everybody has their opinion I guess so uh, is this not the simulation I knocked that chair over Okay. 